In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about showmanship and stick twirling and spinning. It's not super useful for your playing, but it does add an element to your live show, and I get students asking about it all the time. I'm not great at it, but I can show you a few things if you don't know how to start. The easiest one to do is a total fake twirl. You just simply put the stick between your index and middle fingers, and you use your index finger to rotate the stick in a sort of a circle in your hand. It doesn't change fingers, it doesn't really move all that much. You just try to get it to swirl around. And if you speed it up, it looks like you're twirling the stick. That's the one that actually most drummers do. You can do that in between beats, and it looks like something's happening, even though it's not. You end up playing from this position, but it's not so bad as long as you're just hitting a backbeat or something. The next one is similar to this, it's a little bit more involved. It's sort of an over-under fake twirl. So you do one fake twirl on top, and then one fake twirl on the bottom. Bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, top. So when you're doing the bottom one, your wrist is down. When you're doing the top one, your wrist is up. So it ends up, you're just turning your hand over, but essentially doing the same thing we were doing in the last one. Just making a little figure eight circle type thing with the stick. Then you can get into real twirling. The backward twirl where the stick goes back towards you on the first one. Just take your fingers in succession, put them on top of the stick, and rotate in the same direction. And then when you get to the end, I like to stop at this finger, although you could go to your pinky. Then once you get to the end of your fingers, you do the reverse. You put the fingers on the front, but you still rotate in that same direction and eventually you will come around back to the starting point. So, then you can rotate in the forward direction as well. Just drop the stick and keep it rotating in that direction through each successive finger. If you go all the way through, you should end up back in the front. I'm not really good at that one. The next thing you can do is you can actually flip the stick in your hand, which is difficult at first, but as long as you get it to rotate instead of throwing it around, it's not that bad. So you don't want a lot of lift to it, you just want it to rotate in place, so you're throwing the back end down as much as you're throwing the front end up. And there's going to be just a little loft so that it comes right back. I do this one a lot while I'm talking in drum lessons, probably distracting for the students, but I can now do it with my eyes closed, sometimes in both hands with my eyes closed, so I can flip two at once just because I have done it enough times to where I know the timing, how hard I flick when I need to close my hand, and the stick is just going to be there. So I'm actually looking at the camera right now. There's a little monitor screen beside it, and it's actually on a timer delay, so I can catch it out of my peripheral vision every time pretty easy. You can also try to do the helicopter, which is the same idea, only you're going to throw it sideways, which I am not as good at, see, but it's possible. There's one more, it's you start doing a backwards twirl, you do your middle finger, your ring finger, and you end up turning your hand upside down while you're doing it, and then when you're done, you flip it around and you can actually play a beat, and you end up in this weird like marimba grip position. So one, two, and over, one, two, and over one finger, two finger, and over, and you can play back beats like that, you're actually spinning it, but it's useful in the middle of a beat, not just in a dead spot in the song. So that's all I got. Hope that it at least sort of gave you an idea of what to mess around with.